kids. Welcome back to Smith Motorworks. If you got a few minutes and that's all it takes, I'll show you how to make a really cool, easy to do belt groove cleaner for your V-belts when you get all that stuff in there from either a belt breaking or just rust, age, time, dirt, whatever. Hard to get that cleaned out, especially when it's on the car. This is super easy to do. Let's do it. Okay, guys, had a brainstorm here. I, uh, belt came, well, let go, basically on the little Fiero that, uh, we've, we've been doing work on. And, uh, they, they, uh, they don't have a very good belt engagement. What I mean by that is the belt doesn't wrap around the pulley as far as it should. This isn't off of Fiero. But, uh, since the belt's already came off, I figured it probably kind of got some you know, some schmutz down in the, in the groove here. And I really want to clean that up good. I don't want to, you know, grind away at it or anything. Um, but I thought, you know, it's kind of a hassle to get down in there to get to it. Maybe I make a tool to kind of be able to dress that, those, uh, pulleys up a little better for the new belt to, uh, you know, get a, get a good grip on there. So I got to thinking, you know, I've got the, I've got the right profile here. This fits right down in there. Let's take a piece of that. It's already rubber. It's kind of like a sanding block. Uh, let's stick that to something, wrap some sandpaper around it, and uh, and we've got ourselves a little tool we can kind of wiggle back and forth in there with the sandpaper on it and uh, and clean it up. So um, looked around to see if there's been something like that on the web that's been done before and couldn't find it. Um, you know, there's nothing new under the sun, but we're going to try to make one here. Basically, don't have a whole lot of tools that you need to do, um, you know, something to cut the belt with. Um, when you get the piece to, to length, you know, something to attach it, I'm just going to zip tie it on there because I originally was going to um, make it removable because this belt, the backside is flat, and uh, these Craftsman screwdrivers, they're, they're square in cross-section, um, at least the, the standard blade ones are. And I thought, well, that'll lay right on there, and I can just kind of slide it back and forth. But as I was digging around, I found a scrap piece of metal from the uh, uh, tow motor emblems that I made, and I'm like, you know, I'll just... I'll just make it off of this, and then I can kind of permanently, semi-permanently attach it to it and uh, put a handle on it, and I, then I don't have to take it back apart. But um, that's pretty much what's going on, so uh, I'll get started here, and we'll see how it works out. Okay, show you what I got done here. Uh, basically, just what I said I was going to do. I took, a, I took that belt, kind of set it off from the end to uh, give myself room for a handle, put a zip tie around it there. Um, couldn't find a zip tie gun, cable tie gun, but if you got one, you know, you can draw it down really tight, and that'll be nice. Um, stretched it out and did the same thing on the other end and then cut it flush. Now, you can kind of see it's got a bow in it here and because this belt died a, died a violent death, so it's it's twisted up pretty good. But um, I put a little bit of uh, super glue, CA glue, right in the middle to keep it from kind of jumping off of there. But it was, it was tight enough it would have stayed on there, especially after we wrapped it with sandpaper. But uh, I think what I'm going to do is, because uh, I've, I've been playing around with this without sandpaper, and it's, it's going to work really well. I'm going to go back and put epoxy on this and, and grind this to the width of the blade, this piece of metal here. And uh, put epoxy on there and then um, tie it down, in, you know, all the way down to where it stays straight and dries straight. And then I can leave it like that. Um, it... Uh, it really doesn't matter right now to make it make it work. This is kind of a proof of concept. To, you know, it, it, it's still going to work wherever section I have. Because, you know, if you think about it, you know, how big is a pulley? You're only going to get, you know, a little bit of engagement. Even with a big, big diameter pulley, you're only going to get, you know, maybe two inches or something in there that you're, that you're working at a time. So, I mean, this is just so you can reach farther in and, you know, maybe have a, you know, more of a stroke as you're pulling it back and forth. And, you know, you're kind of limited by the sandpaper. I made it longer than I needed, but... Honestly, the only only step that we got left is to take a piece of sandpaper, which I got some 320 here, because you don't want to, you know, just dig away at that. Um, you know, it, it you're gonna remove whatever coating it had on there if you do that, and also, um, you, you know, it, it uh, it's gonna kind of remove some of that surface that the belt needs to grip on. So it's a little bit of a double-edged sword. You want to kind of aggressively clean it up, but you don't want to change the shape of it to where it's you're losing that uh, that contact. So um, Really, you're just 
kind of wrapping this up like a like a sanding block and I'm going to start in a different point but uh we'll get that on there like that and it it'll be pressed down against the the shape we need formed up really good I'm just going to run some staples on the back side of this and and we're done you know um May, may come up with a way to kind of make the paper removable so you can move it around because, you know, sandpaper ain't cheap or free. But, uh, it's, you know, these little pieces aren't bad. I bought a big pack of these for not a lot of money. So if I if I trash a sheet every time I make it, that's that's all right. I may even be able to, to rip this in half and get it to work too. So uh, this, like I say, this is just a kind of a test here. But uh, I it's going to work. So let me, let me get this attached and... Uh, We'll see what we got and we'll try it out well hey i saved a little bit of money there i, I did what i said and uh, i split this in half ripped it down the middle and uh it worked out just right i was able to take and and tape down the first edge kind of halfway down the middle so it was a uh, you know state tape i'm sorry sandpaper start stopped right about there and i taped it down then i wrapped it wrapped it around and then taped it again, kind of did the same thing, and you can kind of see the, the top of it right there, top edge of it right there. A little bit of tape hung over the side, just flipped it upside down on the table. Got your, you know, breakaway awful knife here and, and trimmed it up. Didn't even use a stapler. So, um, if like I said, if you wanted, if you don't want to mess with find a piece of scrap steel, these, uh, these big screwdrivers work pretty good if they're flat. I think you could probably, I don't know, I It'd be harder with something round because it would want to spin on there. But uh, let's let's try this thing out. I mean, it fit up there pretty tight. Um, as you can probably see down the barrel here, you know, the tape uh, sandpaper is kind of up against that rubber, just like a just like a rubber sanding block. So this ought to work work pretty good. Let's see how we do. Well, good news, bad news. Uh, good news is this thing works really good. I uh, kind of see here. See that black stuff? That was in the in the groove. That's what that pulled out of there. So uh, I like it. I like it a lot. The bad news is I don't think I can film myself using it without blocking the view here, as you can see. But th this is why I needed that because, you know, this is, well, you know, that far away in there so it's not like you can just get right up on top of it and clean it unless you want to take the alternator out but uh you know i can i can put this down in there up against the pulley and and work it back and forth which is what i was doing but i gotta you know hold it with the other hand and then you just kind of kind of well i'm gonna block it again but there's you imagine kind of feed the pulley around you know rotate it around and get 360 degrees and uh, and get it all cleaned out, which I got about half of it done, and uh, I'm gonna keep working it. Um, the other one, uh, you see the crank pulley down at the very bottom there. You can see the water pulley just kind of at the middle, almost just to the right of center of the screen. That's the water pump pulley there. You gonna clean that out, that one out too. Same deal, you know. You can't really get to it unless you start taking parts out of the way. But uh, this allows you to kind of reach in there and, and clean that stuff up and. I don't know if you can see that or not. I can see it from here. There's all kinds of just garbage in that water pump pulley groove. So this thing's going to work. Um, the only thing that I would say I might change uh, that we hadn't mentioned, you know, I talked about, you know, kind of kind of grinding this uh, this metal a little narrower and um, epoxy in that belt on there and more, you know, kind of semi-permanent thing besides the, the zip ties is uh, I might use steel or something, you know, a little thicker. Then it's aluminum because I can feel it flexing a little bit, but you really don't have to get after it too hard. Like I said, you don't want to try to sand the metal. You're just trying to clean it. So um, that's why I use kind of a finer finer grit here than, than what you might think that you need. But uh, I mean, I'm going to call this a win. Uh, I'm going to keep using it. I'm going to get back to work here. And uh, uh, you all should uh, and build yourself one, you know. It, it does work. It seems silly, but uh, if, if, you got the, if you got it off the vehicle you know that's that's a different story you know you can clean it up but when you're trying to reach down into a tight end engine bay and unless you got a you know 283 in a 67 impala or something like that where you can sit next to the engine and do it um it gets kind of difficult when you're trying to reach down in some something with a smaller engine bay or a big engine in in a, a normal size engine bay um it, it, it's pretty handy so um 
definitely, you know, make one if you can. Send me, send me some, uh, maybe some improvements you got if you, if you tried it out. Uh, you know, like, subscribe, share, comment, all that stuff. I appreciate it, and we'll see you next time on Smith Motorworks.